Hi everyone. In the last few videos, we were discussing about how to interpret ROCE. We are again continuing that discussion. And in this discussion, we are going to learn how to interpret ROCE when there has been acquisition of another company, as well as when there has been an acquisition of a subsidiary company. So we are going to practice three past question papers to understand this particular concept, how to interpret ROC when there has been an acquisition of another company. I'm Basim Neelam Ram, tutor for financial reporting at Kaplan School of Accountancy and Management. So kindly read June 2014 question paper. So in this particular question paper, if you can get an option, you can get the ended June 2014 question paper downloaded. Of course, it is not, it won't be there in ACCA site, but you just go to Google and just type June 2014 ACCA F7 paper. Mostly there will be some link available. Click that, you can download this question paper. So once you download this question paper, you'll find that in this particular attempt of June 2014, the company Wood Bank on 1st January 2014 purchased assets and operations of another company show for 50 million. And on the same day, they issued additional 10 percentage loan note to finance the purchase. So now Wood Bank has issued certain loan note or known current liability. So basically your known current liability will increase because it is loan note. Now, when your known current liability increase, what will happen to your capital employed? It will also increase. Why is that? Because capital employed, there's a formula for capital employed. Capital employed equal to equity plus known current liability, loan note is an example of a known current liability. So if known current liability increases, your capital employed will increase. And if your capital employed increases, what will happen to your ROCE? If you have been watching my past videos on how to interpret ROCE, you will know that when denominator increase, the ratio decrease. The formula for ROCE is operating profit or PBIT divided by capital employed. So capital employed is denominator and denominator and ratio are inversely related. So when the denominator capital employed increase, ROCE will decrease. ROC should decrease. But if you see this particular part, in 2013, ROCE is 10.5. That is in previous year, ROCE is 10.5. And they also have given current year financial statement as reported. As reported means current year financial, current year ratio ROCE is 12 percentage. This you have to find out as per the question. But if you have been watching this question, you know that I'm focusing more on interpretation rather than on how to solve the ratios because it has got very limited weightage. So if you compare this to in previous year, the ROC is 10.5. Current year ROC has increased to 12.12 12 percentage. So ROC has actually increased. So if ratio increases, that means the numerator has increased because numerator and ratio are directly related. If new ratio, if numerator increase, ratio increase or capital employed has decreased. But right now we have proved, no, capital employed has not decreased. It has, in short, it has increased. So the major reason for this ROC's increase is not capital employed. Because capital employed, we just state it has increased. So the major reason why 2014 figures are high because of due to this, the operating margin has increased. You can also see that here, 
in 2013 9.1 in previous year 9.1 is the pbit margin or operating margin it has increased to 12 percentage so definitely it is due to roc is increasing due to higher operating margin but there is a but this is what they expect from you when you compare current year ratio with previous year in current year on 1st January 14, Wood Bank has accurate show. So all these figures will include show. Because once you accurate Wood Bank, all the assets, sorry, once Wood Bank as accurate show, all the assets of show will become assets of Wood Bank. All the liabilities of show would become assets of Wood Bank. All the income, all the expense, all the profit of show becomes profit of Wood Bank. So now this 2014 figure, it includes Wood Bank plus show, but in previous year, there is only Wood Bank. So you cannot compare Wood Bank plus show with Wood Bank because that is not a proper comparison. You, can, you should only compare Wood Bank with Wood Bank. So what you will require you will have to remove all the figures of show, all the assets, all the liabilities, all the profit of show, and then recalculate the figures of 2014, excluding show. Now there is one golden key that I have to inform you. Lot of students go and break their heads in removing figures of show, they will remove a lot of figures. You just concentrate on removing profit. You just remove on concentrating on removing profits, whatever figures that affect profit will be doing well. Anyway, I'm not going to do that. But our interpretation is now that if we remove show, how are you going to remove show? Because question has stated that this 18 is Wood Bank plus show. So question has given you an information. Question will have given an information in this particular, it's not there, but in this question, it was there. Shows figures profit was 15, five, sorry, five. So from 18, you remove five, then you get excluding show, Wood Bank only. And 150 is the total net set as minus 50. So you just read this question, just download this question. That's not our priority. I'm just going to teach you how you have to interpret. If there has been an acquisition in current year, when you interpret, find out the ratios, find out the ratios, excluding that acquisition, remove all the figures of that accurate company, then recalculate the ratios, then start interpreting. When you interpret, Interpret current year with previous year. Then you interpret the your adjusted current year figures with previous year. These are the steps. There are two steps when you interpret. Step number one, you interpret current year with previous year as normal. Step number two, you have to find out the adjusted figures, excluding that accurate company what would have been the figures if that company was not that accurate company was not there. Then compare that adjusted current year with previous year. It'll do well. So when we do that in step by step, current year, it is 12 percentage. Whereas in previous year, it is 10.5. So ROC has increased. And the major reason is that increase of operating margin. Because these figures include three months. Why three months? Because year, year ending is the 31st March 14. So January, February, March, you accurate on January. So it includes this three months. So just by including shows profit of three months, your ROC has increased by 2.5%. But when you're excluding that shows figures, when you're excluding profits of show as well as capital employed of show, our figures are increasing further from 13 percentage to, to 13 percentage from 10.5.
so that excluding show itself without show itself would bank was doing well their roc without show it is actually increasing now why it would be because the reason is that the reason is that when you compare you are comparing only 3 months profit you are taking 3 months profit of show in the numerator but in denominator capital employed it is capital employed it is balance sheet item balance sheet item you cannot time proportion so balance sheet you are taking all the assets 100 percentage of assets of show that is why when you remove show your profits go up now how you word that in your answer let's learn that so an roc of 12 percentage in 14 compared to 10.5 in 13 represent a creditable increase that is 12 minus 10.5 and comparing with taking previous year as figure as base 14.3 but basically zero marks for that when roc is excluding calculated excluding contribution from show that is our step number 2 it becomes 13 percentage it shows even more favorable performance still zero marks still zero marks if you have been attending my classes you know that if you have been watching my classes in this channel you know that now that means we are saying that the purchase of show has actually have a determinal effect on roc because without show they will have 13 with show they are having only 12 now how our caution this red in item they always expect whenever there is an acquisition so learn that words in red ink our caution is needed when interpreting information as roc compares return profit for a period to capital employed that is in case of wood bank sopl will include only 3 months result from show whereas sofp will include all shows net asset so you are comparing 3 months with 100 percentage there's a consistency so if you take this entire 12 month if you are going to take this instead of 3 month if you are going to assume this 12 month next year onwards there will be 12 month so it will show a more better profit and better roce roce will be a favorable position so in the certain questions they will give you one mark for this particular extra thing now they have paid 50 million is the purchase consideration and profit of show for 3 month it was 5 million it was given in the question you just download june 2014 question from google you will see that you can download the nda question from uh, google so the 3 months profit was 5 million if 3 months profit was 5 million then what will be entire one year's profit multiplied by 4 because 3 month what will be 4 12 month 3 into 4 12 5 into 4 20 million so you are getting you are going to get 20 million out of an investment of 50 million because purchase consideration is only 50 so this represent a return on capital employed on return on equity i will say that it is return on equity 40 percentage which is much higher than wood banks existing business so if you write this point if you are able to remember this point perfect so the cause of improvement now we have to write what is the cause of improvement that we have already discussed it is due to profit margin it is due to profit margin because their profit margin shows an increase from 12 point from 9.1 to 12 so that is the main reason why operating margin has increased so i hope you have understood how we have to interpret when there is an acquisition now let's focus let's do another question to understand this acquisition once again we are just going to take september december 2018 question which is more comprehensive question so kindly read this question do company is a retailer with store in its numerous city centers on 1st january x8 Duke acquired eighty percentage of equity share capital of Smooth, a service company specializing in training and recruitment. This was the first time Duke had acquired a subsidiary. Whether it was a subsidiary or not, it will be same. On January, Duke acquired a subsidiary Smooth. 
So in this particular year, 30 June 20X8, it is Duke plus Smooth. And in the previous year, 30 June X7, it is only Duke. It is only Duke. The consideration of Smooth consisted of a cash element and issue of some shares in Duke. So consideration, now we are discussing how to interpret. How to interpret ratio, ROC, when there is an acquisition of a subsidiary. The last question was a simple acquisition. Now this is specific acquisition of a subsidiary. So the purchase consideration was paid cash element and issue of some shares. Some shares has been issued. So if some shares has been issued, equity of due company will go up. If equity goes up, capital employed, equity plus non-current liability, capital employed will go up because they has issued some shares to finance that purchase consideration. So if shares are issued, equity increase, equity increase, capital employed increase. And if capital employed increase, since it is denominator, ROCE decrease. So X7, ROC it is 48.1, X8, ROC it is 31.3. So what will be the major reason for decrease in ROC? Increase in capital employed. Why capital employed has increased? Because the company has issued shares, thereby increasing equity, thereby increasing capital employed. That's it. That's it. Now what you have to remember one more thing. This comparison again is not perfect. Why? Because you acquired, because due company acquired smooth on 1st January X8 and your year end is on 30 June. So in ROC calculation, when you take PBIT or profit from operation, it is only smooth six months operation. Whereas when you divide by capital employed, you're going to consider all the equities, all the liabilities, all the assets. So you're comparing six months with 100%. So there is an inconsistency. So if you're going to take the entire year, maybe it might produce a better result. That is how we have to present your answer, logical presentation. So now let's read this answer. So you will have an idea how you have to interpret ROCE when there is an acquisition of subsidiary company by issue of shares. So ROCE has declined. However, rather than being due to reduction of profit from operation, it has actually increased. This is due to increase in capital employed. It is partly due to the acquisition through issue of shares. So what they expect increase in capital employed and issue of shares be specific. Why? Don't simply write increase in capital employed because you're not going to get the marks. This is the marks. This is a multi-million dollar point which will get you the marks issue of shares. ROC will look worse in the current period because it will only contain six months profit from smooth, but the entire liability is non-controlling interest. Yes, non-controlling interest. Assets, everything will be considered 100%. So it's inconsistent. So smooth company has made a profit of 7 million in the year. So if you're going to consider it for six months, there's a considerable increase. So if you're going to consider for an entire year, it will be, it might show a better position of profit and better ROCE. So as I told you, if you have read the question, let's go and read the question once again. Just give me a minute, yes. Facing yes, some technical issues. Just wait a minute. Sorry for this. Yes. Okay. Okay. So in this particular question, it's not here, but if you read the September, December, 2018, it was stated that a subsidiary company has made a profit of 7,000. So if you remove the profit of that subsidiary company, what will happen? You just write it based on that question. So just download the question paper and read by yourself. You can get an idea of that. And I'm just going to practice one more question so that you will be thorough with how to interpret ROCE when there is an acquisition. So read a September 2016 question. Gregory company is a listed company and until 1st October X5, it had no subsidiaries. 
on that date it acquired 75 percentage of equity shares by means of a share exchange of two new shares so there is a share exchange Gregory company when it acquired Tasman, a subsidiary company because 75 percentage, Gregory issued shares. So when you issue shares, what will happen? Share capital increases. If share capital increases, equity increase. If equity increase, capital employed increase. Capital employed being the denominator. Denominator and ratio have inverse relationship. So ROC will decrease because so ROC has a decrease. Yes from 11.3 in X5, it has decreased to 10.1. So the reason why ROC has decreased is because due to increasing capital employed due to issue of shares to finance this particular purchase consideration, purchase. And there is one more reason which you can write because they have given SOFP in this question. The capital employed will be higher even if you think from the other point of view. The other equation, what's the other equation for capital employed? Total asset minus current liability. So 31st March, it is only Gregory. And 31st March X5, it is Gregory alone. But in 31st March X6, it is Gregory plus subsidiary Tasmin. So when you acquire all the assets of Tasmin will become assets of this. So definitely the property plant and equipment will increase and there will be goodwill. So this goodwill, if you take from the total assets, the total assets will increase because all this asset figures will include Tasman's figures as well, assets figures. So assets increase as a result of capital employed increase and as a result of that ROC will decrease. And you have to remember one more thing, non-controlling interest will also be considered as equity in consolidation. So when you consolidate, this non-controlling interest will be there in equity. When it is Gregory plus Tasman acquisition of subsidiary company, there'll be NCI in this particular year. NCI will be considered as equity, so it increases. For the capital employed, increases. ROC decrease. Whereas in previous year, there is no assets of Tasman in Gregory's figures. There is no goodwill. There is no NCI in March X5. And you, maybe profit. Okay, profit has, and as usual, what you have to say is that this ROC is in decrease is not comparable because in your ROC, only six months, October to March, October X5 to March, only six months profit has been considered Whereas we are considering 100 percentage of assets, we are considering the entire NCI, everything in denominator. So definitely it will show an inconsistent figure. And had it been for the entire year, maybe it will show a favorable position. So if you have been watching and listening to me very carefully over the last three points, we were saying the same thing, whether it was acquisition of show, whether it was acquisition of a subsidiary in the last question, or in this question, we are always using the same word, ROC is decreasing due to something happened in capital employed, but that is not consistent because the numerator consists of only three months or six months, that is post acquisition profit, whereas denominator con contains the entire assets and liabilities. So it will always show an inconsistent figure. Had it been the entire year, maybe if you have, if you're going to consider the entire profits of an year, maybe they will show a better ROC, the words are same. So now just read the interpretation. ROC has fallen from 11.3. This is due to substantial fall in gross profit margin and operating margin. It was there. And apart from that, acquisition only six months has been increased. Financial position includes full amount of consideration. So all those are distorting this one, determinant effect. So we have discussed all those things. I hope you have understood how to interpret ROCE. And we have discussed almost all permutation and combination, how to interpret ROC when you're comparing with previous year, when you're comparing two companies for the purpose of acquisition, when you're comparing uh, with industry average, and when you're comparing when there's an acquisition of a normal company or acquisition of a subsidiary company. I will also be uploading one more video on how to compare with a sector average. I've already shared that uh, in part number four, but I'll be sharing one more video so that you will have ample questions that 
to practice. I hope you have enjoyed watching these classes. Thank you everyone. And don't forget to subscribe and press that bell, no, uh, bell icon because after I upload that ROC, interpretation of ROC, I'll be starting with next topic, how to interpret net asset turnover. So see you then. All the best for your financial reporting examination. Thank you everyone. Have a nice day and all the best.